Hello everyone. So I'm down here at Randall's tonight. Um, gonna feed the cows down here. So my, my dad takes 10 days off every year and he goes on a little vacation. And uh, during those 10 days, I kind of feel informed down here at Randall's and help keep the cows fed and kind of watch over things down here. So I'm down here tonight feeding because my dad's gone, like I said, on his vacation. And what we got to do tonight, so we're gonna start feeding into this manger. So all these cows here are waiting to be fed. So what I need to do tonight is I need to go up here on top of this haystack and I need to finish cutting the strings off that top, those top bales. So my brother Michael already came here oh, a week or so ago and I think he cut, he cut most of the strings already for me. So I just need to cut probably one or two strings on them bales up there. Then we can just start, get, we'll crawl up on top then once we get them strings cut, we'll just use a pitchfork and we'll start pitching the hay down into this, into this manger and the cows will line up right here and they'll just eat out of the, the manger here. So I got my ladder set up. So we'll crawl up our ladder. We'll take our pitchfork with us and um, our ax. And I'll just use the ax and I'll reach over and I'll cut the remaining strings off that top row of bales. We'll start pitching some hay down to these cows. Got the dogs with me like always. Piper, Piper's been sitting here nipping these cows' nose. They'll stick their nose through the fence and she'll she nips them they're a little cautious now after they've been bit a couple times they they're keeping their distance huh piper you good you good cow dog huh kind of yeah so yeah let's crawl up there and get feeding these cows they seem pretty hungry So I made it up here. I was looking at these bales. It looks like my brother cut the the bottom four strings. So I just need to cut two to the top strings on these and I'll be able to start flaking them. So what I do when I cut these bales, so let's say I'm cutting this bale here. I'll, I'll, I'll lay on that bale, that one. So, cause you don't want to be laying on the bale that you're cutting. Cause once you pop, cut those strings and that bale pops and it might flake off on its own. Then you'd go head first down into the, down to that manger down there which is that's, that'd be a about 16 feet you'd fall right under your head so like i said i just stay on the bale next to the one i'm cutting just in case it does you know flake i'm not going all over to the edge with it so i need to cut the rest of these bales here and then we can start pitching hay off to these cows like i said they're hungry they're down there mooing at me yeah these are a muddy mess right now we're starting to melt so Let's get cutting some strings. Get these cows fed. All right, we got them fed. Yeah. The top of some of these bales are a little little weathered just from the snow and the rain because you'll still you still get a little bit of snow that blows in sideways and it gets on top of these bales but for the most part you know they all look pretty good so we got all the cows down there eating then i got i left a couple of these bales right here against these posts so eventually probably tomorrow i'll be able to i'll pitch enough hay that i'll be able to walk along the front of these bales. And I'll be able to walk along the front of them and just pitch them off as I go. And I'll be able to dig these these flakes around these posts out. But right now they're just kind of wedged in there. So I gotta wait a minute until I get some of these bales on either side of it, you know, pitched off. And I'll be able to work those, those ones on the poles out. And then I need to go back down and just kind of clean up some of the mess a little bit. Cause I had some hay that fell on the back side of this manger here. So I'll go down there and I'll pitch that in. And we'll call it a night and we'll come back tomorrow and feed them again. This will be an everyday deal down here, um, feeding these cows and Randall's. Yeah, he's got some bunch of cows running around. See all Randall's cows here. And he's got a whole herd of them. They, they start calving a little bit earlier than I do. Randall starts, Randall starts calving about first part of January. So his calves are got some pretty good size on them by now. 
And this is the oldest of the bunches that he has because he's, he's got another bunch there across the, see the another hay sheds over there. He's got another bunch over there that's got some younger calves in them. Yeah, so that's how you do it. Nothing too, nothing too fancy, just pitching hay. Seems to work pretty good. So like I said, I'm gonna go down and I'll clean up a bit of that mess and we'll call it a night. The ladies are fed. Like I said, I went down and I kind of pitched some of that hay back in. You don't want to get the, the manger too full because then the cows just pull all that hay out and they stomp on it. I probably got a little full in a couple places, but it'll, it'll do for tonight. Then I'll just kind of see what kind of mess they make tomorrow. Then I'll adjust how much I feed them, depending on how much hay's left or if there's anything left tomorrow. And also, also real quick, I took that ax and used the edge of it or the flat piece and kind of, I don't know if you can see there or not, but these cows have broke this panel. So there's kind of a sharp piece right there. So I just took that ax and I flattened out some of that sharpness just so those cows aren't cutting themselves on that. And I'll, I'll probably bring a hacksaw or something down tomorrow. I'll just cut that upright right off just so they don't cut themselves or anything on that. So yeah, the cows are fed. They're all bunched down here for some reason. So down on that other end, there's a lot more room where they can all get in to eat, but they're all hanging out on this side. Piper's waiting to nip them in the nose. <laughs> so, so yeah, this chore is done. Uh, like I said, we'll be back. We'll be back down here tomorrow night and just do it all over again. Just pitch some more hay. Then tomorrow I'll have to go over there to that that other hay shed right there and pitch hay off of that tomorrow. Also, I didn't have to do it tonight because. Um, well, last night before my dad left, he fed enough out there that I, I didn't have to do that tonight. So, but tomorrow we'll have to do that one too. So, but that's good. Tomorrow's Saturday, so I'm off tomorrow, and we can come down here and get these cows taken care of and get all caught up on our chores. So we're ready to go home. The dogs have had their fun. East is ready for us. So we'll head on home. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, everyone. So it's the next day. I'm back down here feeding the Randalls. Just wanted to show you about how much they ate last night. That's about what they got left. Um, so they, I, I, fed, I fed them plenty. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna pitch some of this hay that fell off the backside here into the feeder. And we'll go up top again and pitch some more down. I, did, I forgot to bring my hacksaw to cut off that upright, but I think it'll work all right for today. She's using it to scratch on there. So she kind of likes it. So we'll crawl up on top and pitch some more hay down. And before we crawl up there, we'll, like I said, we'll throw this stuff, this extra stuff in real quick. down here I figured I'd show you guys the other hay shed that we got to pitch out of just got to walk through these corrals here to get to it and, and walk by the bulls here yeah they're just waiting to go to work here in a few weeks they'll be busy here in oh I think about three weeks they'll be put to work so this hay shed right here that's the one we got to go pitch out of next and that one over there that's the one that we we're just in so let's walk across here and crawl up into this one and pitch the hay out of that one also. Real quick before I crawl up into that hay shed, I need to pitch this or spread the straw around a little bit in these calf sheds. So let's crawl in there and spread that around. These calf sheds come real, in real handy. So if you see here, there's this bar that goes across the top there. So then little calves, they can crawl, they can go right under that bar 
and get in there and get in that straw and you know get out of the weather but it keeps the cows from going in there because if you get a bunch of cows in there they'll just tromp all that straw and get it all soiled before you know it so yeah that bar comes in handy and nice little calf sheds so let's get in there spread that around real fast they're racing oh they saw me oh fetch <laughs> Didn't realize, realize I was out here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, that one's done. Now let's do this one. So this one's gonna be a little bit different because this hay shed didn't get all the way filled up last year. So it looks like I'm gonna have to do a little, little mountain climbing, I guess you'd say. So let's start down here and I'll do the same thing as I did in that hay shed over there. I'll just crawl along and I'll finish cutting all the the strings that my, my brother left for me. And I'll just fill up this one. This one's in a little bit better shape. The panels aren't near as broken. So we got this nice, well Randall's got this nice, uh, cement pad here in front so the cows can stand on that. that that hay shed over there also has a cement pad too in front of the in front of the mangers just keeps it from becoming you know too messy so i'll crawl up there and cut some strings and pitch some more hay <laughs> Goes a gang of calves. You gotta watch out for them. I'll run you over. <laughs> so our, our chores down here at Randall's are done. Um, this is the last of my chores down here that I needed to do. And then uh, I already I already fed my cows and I fed my dad's cows earlier too. And I also started on a, another panel earlier today. But I took a break from that and I came down here to finish these chores down here. So I can call it a night now. Uh, it's Saturday, and I got the house to myself again tonight because Lindsay's at her she's at her baby shower tonight. So it's just gonna be me and the dogs again. To, so we'll cook, her, cook, her, cook ourselves something good tonight. Probably a steak or something. So we're done though. Everybody everybody's fed down here. The cows are happy and getting their fill. So yeah, I'm gonna head on home. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll, we'll talk to y'all later.